Howdy, stranger. Don't say howdy, stranger, to me. I'll be back. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Stop it. Stop it. You're uh, yes. my mood. We're back. It's actually part two of Terminator. Two, what is it called again? Two Minute Terminator, you should. Terminator. <laughs> Welcome to 2T, the Two Minute Terminator, where we break down, analyse and dismantle the Terminator bolt by bolt. Hopefully you won't die of boredom by the end of this show. Break it down now. Uh, so, not. definitely not. If you've listened this far and you've tuned into part two, we've just started the credits where Arnold Schwarzenegger began. And uh, we're going to watch the credits. Yeah. What yeah. do you think of the credits, guys? Very exciting. Yeah, very exciting. Very, ma- love, very machine-like. I love how the words slide past each other. And, and the, the way the music sounds kind of metally. Heavy <laughs> Technical metally. jargon. Well, Brad Friedel, of yeah. course, uh, did the score. He also did the score to, what was it? Fright Night. Oh, oh wow. True <laughs> Lies. <laughs> yes. I love it. Oh, no, that's, uh, that sounds like, what's that? That's Mozart, isn't it? No, that was just me. <laughs> that was just me. That's the Old Spice commercial. <laughs> <laughs> you should know. <laughs> From the 70s. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, <coughs> Brad Fidel did the music and uh, it was supposed to mimic the Terminator's heartbeat, apparently. Mm. Ah. Da, 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 That's da, a bit irregular. And the you top, top theme is the love theme. Oh, well, ah, just full of like these it. facts, aren't you? <laughs> well, if you want to add some facts of your own, please do. You've got a microphone. <laughs> oh. oh, so funny. <laughs> Well, here we have Dizzy Gillespie. Oh no, he's gone. <laughs> Dizzy Gillespie. Michael Bean. Like Michael Bean, anyone? Uh, he's alright. Yeah, he's good. Linda, looking. she's great. He was in Cherry Falls, wasn't he? Lance Henriksen. Which was Cherry Falls? Ah, uh, well, there's a psycho psychopath who um, kills virgins, so everyone's yeah. got to lose their Did he direct that? Yeah. Michael Bean. Didn't he direct a? He recently directed a film about three years ago called. Uh, oh, what was it? I think it was not. He was talking about it on some uh, interview that he did with, uh, what was it, for Planet Terror. Is he in Planet Terror? Planet Terror. Yeah, I swear to God he's in that. Yeah, I think he No, is. he is in that. What did he direct, though? Je ne sais pas. Michael B. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. I thought he did comedy. Then Director. <laughs> what did he direct? No, can give you an interesting fact. Go Henriksen on. was meant to be the original Terminator. Yes, he was. Because he was meant to blend in with the crowd. Yes, he was. Do you think he's supposed to be the kind of person that could just come up to you out of a crowd yeah. anywhere? And if just he came to me in a crowd, I'd be fucking terrified. <laughs> 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 yeah, but that's because you think of him as Bishop. Oh, no. He, uh, yes. Michael Bean directed The Blood Bond, which is 2010, and The Victim, which is 2011. The Victim! And he wrote the, both those titles as well. So Ooh. we're Googling facts as we go. Many strings to his bow. Yeah. Uh, the Victim. Do you like oh, Michael Bean life. in anything else? Hmm? Do you like Michael Bean from anything else? Uh, no. No. <laughs> You've not seen Aliens? Of course. He's Hicks and Aliens. Come on, dude! I'm massively. Yeah, he's a chill. grunt. He's. He's no going to he's gonna be in the new Aliens no, film it. as well. No, huh? he's he's awesome. And again, when he another interesting fact because I've been doing a little bit of research. Um, is to <laughs> if you refrain from the <laughs> desk tapping that would be much easier to listen desk. to with a poor viewer um, he actually when he did the first uh, cut, when he first went along to the audition mm. he did really well but they said that he sounded too southern and it's because he'd been filming something else where he had to play a southern he was, guy uh, no he was doing a play for uh, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof by Tennessee yes, Williams yes that's what oh. it is he came in with a southern accent and they said oh he's great but if you could just tone it down a little bit so then he came back in and smashed it absolutely smashed it <sighs> Linda Hamilton, do you know her from anything else apart from Terminator? Uh, no. I don't think I do. No. <laughs> you, you don't? Do you not remember that series in the 80s that was kind of repeated a lot called Beauty and the Beast with Ron Perlman as like this like beast man that lived under the streets of New York in this kind of like weird sewer kind of thing. Why is it all movie oh. sewers are really cavernous as well, by the way? I don't know. Have you ever been in a sewer? Never. No, I have. Never. <laughs> yeah, but that's because you've done a million and one jobs. There's no, there's I've no also grand halls. <laughs> <laughs> But no, yeah, I've never like, been in a sewer. Yeah, well, in the, in, the, in the Dark Knight Rises, like where Bane's lair is, it's like this massive cavernous thing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And where they have that, he has that fight with Batman. Like the, mm. the roof is like fifty feet high. Yeah, but that's very. That's again, a movie sewer. Again, it's very kind of chiaroscuro, which is a technical term for cinematography. What? What? Check you out. It is. What? Uh, what language is that? 
English. In chiaroscuro? That sounds yeah. like some like Japanese manga type stuff. Yeah, well, for people that can read, Ethan. <laughs> I can't read. I can't read. I recognise signs and shapes. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, also, no. let's not forget The Abyss. Yes, which you only recently saw, though. Which yes, is also I a know. James Cameron film. Is his uh, next film after Aliens, actually, 1989. Absolutely amazing. Directed by James Cameron, funnily enough. And it was in that movie where he realised that he would be able to use the special effects to make the T-1000 in Terminator 2. Ooh. Boom! Because he originally wanted to put that in the original movie, yeah. but then soon realised he didn't have the special effects and he could squeeze out another movie. So he wanted to do a T-1000 in the first film? He wanted to send two mm. Terminators back in time. And what were they going to do? Well, one of them was going to protect and one was going to destroy. Oh, so that was the first? idea for Terminator 1? That was one. the first idea for Terminator 1. Ah, I swear so down. So why did they change it and send a guy back instead? Well, like I said, they wouldn't be able to do the special effects that he wanted to do, that he ah. wanted to achieve at that time. And he realised that if he split it up, that he'd actually be able to make two films. That's good. That's smart, Forward isn't thinking. It? Hindsight. Sequels. Nice. Sequels. So no one ever saw Beauty and the Beast. If you are listening, viewers, and uh, you've got a phone or a, a googling device, like a Googler. a laptop, a uh, look up Linda Hamilton Beauty and the Beast. It's the, like this film film. Where it's a feature length episode, film film, and a series based on Beauty and the Beast. And Ron Perlman was this like lion mm. man mutant that lived underneath the sewers of New York. Oh, wow. Doesn't need much. Or even in the sewers of <laughs> no. New York. And they were like friends, and they went on adventures and stuff. And he used to travel on top of like subway trains, exactly like this scene that's just come up. Wow. Yeah. And they were like friends, and they like solve mysteries in their spare time. It was really weird. Oh, it looks just <laughs> like Cheers. <laughs> so yeah, that's Linda Hamilton's career uh, wrapped up in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> but she's in two of my favourite movies of all time. So hats off. Terminator to One, me. Terminator Two. <laughs> 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 Well done, Linda. Oh, I'm rooting for you. What do you think of the new uh, film that's going to come out? Honestly, Terminator Genesis. I will watch it, but I'm not holding yeah, out we'll any give, hopes. We'll give you credit. Arnold but. should just let go, man. I no. love him dearly, but he should just stop making movies. No, you shouldn't stop no, making movies. No, you you should shouldn't. stop making Terminator movies. What's what's, what's the last good Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where he wasn't a Terminator? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hang on. That's English for stop a horse. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think True Lies was his last great movie. Yeah. I agree, but... I, I, well, what was and that, that was still quite slapstick, anyway. Well, what what's yeah. what we got? What what actually we discussed Erasure. this, and I think you discussed it with him like separately. Yeah, I did. What do you can? There's like I think there's three like channels of honor, not channels, but like three grades of honor Schwarzenegger films. Yeah. And there's like the A, A the A canon, the B canon, and then there's like the C films. So I think the A canon is, I guess, maybe. Isn't it? Terminator, Predator, Eraser, Eraser. Predator, Eraser. That's no, kinda, that's C list. That's C list. Eraser was terrible. I think so. This is everyone's individual opinion. No, 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 I agree. No. I thought it was utterly ridiculous. Nah, sorry, I don't agree with that. All right, the, the, it was pretty let's good go with that. the first five. Let's say that's the A Arnold Schwarzenegger the films A-team. for me. I think, <laughs> I guess, Commando, Predator, yeah, Terminator Two, mm-hmm. Terminator, yeah, yep. I that's Definitely. that's kind of got one foot in the B for me. No, it's no, A for no. me. It's A. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. No. So, this is what kind no, of made Arnold no Schwarzenegger. Contest. Maybe Conan. 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 Yes. Love Conan. Yes. Okay. That wow. Kicks he's really, he's really for Conan. <laughs> and then I guess for the B list, True Lies. Yeah. No. Yeah. True Lies. Yeah. Eraser can get in B. Yeah, no, I'll, it I'll can't. This is two against one. All right. True Lies. Running Man. Running Man. Love Running Total Man. Total Recall. Yeah. Oh, I love been, Total yeah. Recall. Oh, I know. It's, they're I'd all put, great. I'd put Don't that in my A. I'd put that in the A team. I love Total Recall. <laughs> you cannot compete with a movie with a chick with three tits. Hang on. <laughs> two got, I've got two more left. <laughs> oh, what else has he done? What did he... Oh, Last Action Hero. That's in the B's. Love that. That's, that's really yeah, that's good. Brilliant. Had True Lies already, haven't I? Yeah. I need mm-hmm. one more. Kindergarten Cop was kind of... That's, that's, that's C. C. Yeah. There were some really funny bits so, all right, that. the C's, And it is great You've got Twins... Raw Deal. Oh! Uh, actually, Can't that might be D. What about Red Black. Heat? Red Heat, that's B. That's I'll have B. that as my B. Yeah. I forgot you even made that. That's really good. <laughs> so, right. All right, C. Jingle Twins. Way. How many fingers have you got, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what has he made? I'm just trying to... Because I'm trying to be kind. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's let, a critique. Let's just skip to D. Junior. Okay. Oh, God. No, let's skip to C. J- Twins. Jingle all the fucking way. <laughs> 
there's children listening to this. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> yeah, right. Junior, jingle all the way. Mm-hmm. Collateral damage. That oh, thing, the God. sixth day. Oh, yeah. That's C. Um, end of days. End of days. End of days. I quite liked Actually, end of days. That was good. Days could be that was good, but I kind of liked it more for Gabriel Byrne in that. He kind of and, 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 and the weird and the weird mother do you think that daughter could scra- do you think threesome that- thing. That yeah. was that was really. Do you hard. think that could scrape into B? Yeah, maybe. I think that should yeah. be in B. But he'd kind of lost his Get shine by that point. After like True Lies, obviously he dropped off, didn't he? Eraser came after that, mm. and that mm. didn't do that well. No, with but that he pulled CGI it back crocodile. a bit with end of days. He did. I'll make yeah. you luggage. Oh, your luggage. I can keep this up all day. Yeah. yeah. What, what was after that? Then there was True Lies. And then... And then Terminator 3. Eraser, Jingle All The Way. We're just listing films now. You should just switch off. <laughs> <laughs> Keep listening. Eraser, Jingle All The Way. Mm. Terminator 3. <laughs> Terminator 3 was he's kind of like, please accept me. That's I think that's what got him back into Terminator films. Because he did like... It did. And I can understand it kind of put him back on the map and it kind Sixth of made day, it relevant for kids like that were obviously a lot younger, like say myself, but I was privileged to have been brought up with Cause that, the Yeah, the that best. was the downward slide. There was Eraser, then uh, <laughs> End of Days. End of Days. And then it was the sixth day and then it was yeah. collateral damage. Then he was like, fuck, I need a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Maria's going to divorce me. And then he's like, Terminator 3, torch the hand and everyone went, no, no. talk to our hand yeah that, exactly that was last one it was so bad the um, governator Cal- where well, he had a cameo in 80 days around the world with Steve Coogan he did not movie. he did he's like the oh prince God. of Persia or like the, the, oh the, the no. pharaoh of Egypt he's got this like black bobbed wig in it's quite embarrassing that's just bad and then Seriously? he served office uh, sabotage is okay sabotage yeah have you seen that never seen that, never seen that. it's actually it's free on youtube if you google <gasps> sabotage you can probably actually find again. it before the film company mm, takes yeah. down we didn't, i didn't post this by the way <laughs> yeah. there's so many like films as well we've just actually seen before Put we started the great. show that uh terminator 2 is actually on full length on youtube yeah mm. so yeah what's your what's your 5a schwarzenegger movies baron oh it's got to be the two terminators um that's predator two. that's three he's up to three yeah three yeah. Yeah. Okay. Two um, more. Two, two more, more for the A's. Okay. You can have as many as you want for the A's. I don't know. What do you consider A? You've got three there. Uh huh. It's like that. He came really strong out of the gate. He was like a racehorse. Then he just started getting like laying in one leg, <laughs> and he started dropping stuff. And he then stifled fell him. Off him. <laughs> and then they had to shoot him in the head <laughs> and turn him into glue. Sponsor well, this coming, donkey. <laughs> coming back from glue and coming back as oil. Um, <laughs> I don't know how that makes sense. Because he's a dinosaur now. <laughs> yes. That's right. I like it. <laughs> Um, yeah, Terminator 1, Terminator 2, yeah, Predator. I'll agree end with of, that. End of days. That, that for me. Is that an A? I'd say. Is that in the A's? Yeah, end of days for me. Yeah. Okay, so you, that's four. I, I think mean, he's trying, I think he's trying to join before he can. Conan. <laughs> Conan. Yeah. So where do you sit with like Terminator? I mean, not Terminator. You just said that. I mean, uh, what is it? Commando. That's, that's good. I'd, def- I'd say this would be. I think that's his best. If if you cheese ball Schwarzenegger, I think that's it the is. ultimate cheese ball. It Arnold. is cheese yeah. ball. Che- ultimate cheese ball, but that's kind of set yeah. the template for his kind of career after that <laughs> point with the wise cracks and the silliness and the craziness. Uh, yeah, but the one liners definitely comes from Terminator. I'd yes. say more Terminator Two. I think he got into more of his groove as himself when he got to Commando because it was more like you know I lied and all the kind of one liners started coming <laughs> yeah. out. Up to that point, it was I'll be back, and that was an accidental thing. I think he, a bit like Skynet, he became self-aware. Which was originally I'll come back. The same way Al Pacino became self-aware after Send Woman, he became hua You know. I say bring back. That wasn't actually a good Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> that was Al Pacino like weightlifting. Dude. <laughs> With a sore throat. A, stra- a, a strained Al Pacino. Yeah, he became all like hua hua after after he won the Oscar for Send Woman. So. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's me. <laughs> so, what are his three worst? Uh, jingle all the Arnold way. Schwarzenegger, really? Yeah. Yeah. Jingle, yeah. All, the way, jingle all the way. All his comedies. Kindergarten Cop. Yeah. I love Kindergarten Cop. It was Cop. good, but it was it's still terrible. It was great. It was I great, really enjoyed it, was, it. It was great, but it it smelled <laughs> it smelled of poo. Sorry. <laughs> it smelled of poo. <laughs> I was. enjoyed it. I'd probably be in my C. I don't think it'd be my my lowest bucket. Yeah. But, hmm. yeah. I don't I know. Too many bad. Films. No, there's a couple like Raw Deal was terrible. Erasure, I thought was so bad. Erasure, that's an 80s electro band with two gay men singing. Eraser. Uh, Eraser or Eraser Sauce. with Vanessa Williams. Yeah, she was rubbish as well. How dare you! I know. 
but stole that's identity just, movies. <laughs> that's but that's generally how I feel about females in action movies. That's why I think Linda Hamilton actually did a really good job, more so in Terminator 2, because she was really believable and she wasn't this typically was, hot yeah. chick. Like, eh, eh. She, she, she was... <laughs> She I was, can do a bit of this. She same. had balls, man. Do you think she, she was did. typically, typically, typically? I can't even say it. Typically hot in the first movie. No, but she was young. She was only nineteen. She but was innocent. Tell, she was just a regular the, yeah. kid working in a burger shop. You could tell by the end that she'd in a burger bar. Up, yeah, she? she'd smartened up to it. Even by the end of uh, Terminator One. Yeah. She was the one that was saying, "On your feet, soldier." Exactly. On your feet. So the seeds were so- sown. Mm. Yeah. She she learned to become she badass. Didn't show her metal. <laughs> Weird soldier. I'm just, I'm, I'm, just, I'm basically, I'm tr- if you can't see this because you're listening, but uh, I'm typing in weird science. Because weird at the end of the credits, which we will get to, there's uh, a bit part cast member who's appeared in so many 80s movies and you recognize him when you see him. And fat someone. Mm. Uh, basically, you know, in the, uh, well, the garbage truck and the little black guy driving the, uh, in the cab going, he goes, what the hell? Dizzy Is, Gillespie. Yeah. Not Dizzy Gillespie, it's Chino Fats Williams. And he has been in <laughs> Rocky Three, Iron Eagle, Weird Science, essentially playing himself. He's awesome. He's oh. such a dude. <laughs> he literally <laughs> only plays himself. Jumping Jack Flash. Well, he played Larry in uh, Jumping Jack Flash. But no, yeah, he's he's uh, he's in Weird Science. He's been in so many films. He's, uh, yeah, he's really cool. Kelly's. Oh, he was in a movie that we watched the other day. What? Again, like he what? was driving what? a bus. Oh, it was the um Think Ooh. Planes. I'd never seen it. You said it was the funniest movie ever. Planes. He played Marathon Shuttle Planes, Driver. Trains and Automobiles. <laughs> that was it. And he was Kid Sable in Action Jackson. He was driving a bus. Action Jackson. <laughs> so yeah, produced by Gail Ann Hurd. She of course worked with James Cameron and married him and then he divorced Gail Ann Hurd and married uh, Linda Hamilton. They actually Ooh, sold the script to her for one dollar. To who? That they sold the script to her. To her? Oh, right. mm. To Linda Hamilton? No. Uh, the guy that uh, Cameron was... First of it. Like, in the beginning. Well, I think he actually wrote it with a guy called William Wisher, who is actually in Terminator 1, but we won't speak to him or speak of him until about 40 episodes in, because he appears like halfway through the film, kind of. And he's actually in Terminator 2. Oh, uh, he's the guy that... Is the he's taking in photographs the when Arnold... Gets oh. thrown through the window in the mall yeah. by the T1000. And, and he's going, k-sh, k-sh, k-sh. and was the cop who gets slammed against the. Hey, you see? Yeah, that's it. He's he it. We're right. Yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how did you know that? Well done. There you go. Hey. Photographic memory. For so, yeah. Faces and, well. Films. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd have thought we'd get so much mileage out of the start credits of the Terminator? I know. Lance Henriksen. <laughs> it's a wealth of material. What are your top five Lance Henriksen films, Barry? <laughs> That's gonna be a squeeze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you watch no him? In, did you watch him in uh, Millennium, that X-Filesy type s- series when he was a psychic detective? No. No. It's the end of that conversation. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Aliens playing Bishop. Loved him in Aliens. Yep. Playing okay. Bishop in Alien vs Predator. No. <laughs> we don't speak of that movie. No. Oh dear. <laughs> Yeah, no, not 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 feeling that at all. <coughs> so, is there anything you want to add oh, before yeah. we uh, sign off? Uh, I cannot wait till the action starts. Yeah. <laughs> Stan Winston. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. He designed the Terminator with James. Well, James Cameron obviously designed the Terminator. He was a brilliant. Stan Winston drawer. is wow. an absolute legend. And special I think he did person. such a good job. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. And it's still with us today. It's still with yeah. us today. Still being shoved in our faces. Yep. Still being made into sequels. I know. Repeatedly. St- now he's got grey hair. Those endoskeletons in are incredible. They're so cool. They are. This. I will own one one day. In fact, I, I'd be ha- I'd be happy with just a bust. You can get those for like a couple of thousand pounds. You can, you can no, get a you lamp. Want, you want, lamps. You want you get lamps. lamps? You can get lamps. Yeah. Oh my god. The merchandising yeah. is endless. There are almost as many sequels as there are merchandising th- objects. Or or the uh, the hands. That would be good. That in in the glass. Cool. Why? Are, yeah. I've never seen one of those sold. I thought there, there should be some. They will be. Yeah, you can. Yeah, but I, they made them in limited heads. numbers, don't they? You can get Arnie's uh, shotgun as a BB gun. Wow. That you can spin. You See, we can, should get yeah. these toys and do toy reviews. We'll do bonus episodes. <laughs> no, in paintballing. <laughs> 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 I got you. No, you didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Well. That was the uh, the credits of Terminator, and we will return tomorrow 
very excitedly. I can hear it in your voices. Awesome. With naked Arnold Schwarzenegger. With naked Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving. It is. Come on, folks. <laughs> and if you watch the director's cut, you actually see his winky. Do you? Yeah, you see the tip. You see, his, oh. there's no director's cut of Terminator. Is there not? No, you see his winky regardless. Oh. Yeah. It's but one in for the, the ladies. It's one. For if there's any female listeners out there, well, you know any females. Well, hold up, Captain uh, Winky. To help them to listen hold to the up. show, we'll be discussing Arnold Schwarzenegger's <laughs> penis <laughs> at length. <laughs> Wash ter- day, nothing here, here, here's clean. Here's a question: Does a Terminator's penis actually work? Whoa! Oh, you well, see that? We can that's age. A- you can get grey hair. I don't know. Would you? Would the blood run? Would he, that w- well, would you get turned on if you to, learned human behaviour? He's supposed to be fully functional as a human, isn't he? Mate, well, that's what Data says. That's Data's line. I'm fully functional. <laughs> yeah. But he's not in Terminator. If you can, it'd if be he, good if you were. Wow. I'm, sure, I'm sure we'll see him at some point. Terminator. Can he has facial features. He can learn to smile. Mm. He can learn to lift off. Yeah, maybe. Well, that's blowing my mind. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> yes. Can Arnie have sex? Please come back to discuss this. Please come back. <laughs> We've got rid of the credits now. We've got into our groove. A bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger when he made Commando. Yeah. We're getting the wisecracks now. We're getting the information. You've come up with some diamond gems. He knew who William Wish was. I'm quite impressed. Well done. Anyway. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye. We'll Hasta be la back. vista, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I'm stupid in my head. I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger.